During EVO 2018 at the Art System Works booth, many fans were able to get their hands on a plus newly anticipated title, Kill a Kill the Game IF. It has been two months since we heard anything new about this title, but once hearing that a playable demo will be held at EVO 2018, fans who were already headed towards EVO this year was extremely excited to try the game out. Honestly, I was low key salty because all the good stuff tends to happen at EVO, but. <laughs> I settled for CEO this year, but EVO is happening next year, I guarantee that. Once EVO started, I was more interested in seeing the gameplay of Killer Kill IF rather than the tournament scene. And during day one of EVO, your boy got his wish to see some gameplay since our system works had a stream going on about the game itself. Unfortunately, I was a bit sick, so I really couldn't pull out a reaction video, so I thought maybe I could toss my two cents about what I've seen with the game so far. Let's get down with the controls, shall we? For the triangle button we have long range attacks and of course for the square button we have close range attacks while the circle button will be used for a break attack which you know breaks your opponent's guard x button will be used for jumping and if you press it twice you'll get a homie jump similar to the naruto storm series for the r1 button it will be used for guarding and if you hold the guard button while moving your analog stick you pretty much get a little side step so you can pretty much evade attacks and possibly you know mind games because who doesn't like like for who doesn't like mind games let's be honest now for special attacks you simply have to press l1 with either the triangle square or circle button just keep in mind that it uses 50 percent of your meter as well and lastly we have the ketsui burst and the ketsui demonstration i have yet seen what the ketsui burst is like but when it comes to the ketsui demonstration you'll basically get a verbal cutscene which soon leads to both characters getting ready to class before the class commence players are given different options such as provoke mock and taunt this system is clearly similar to the class system within the injustice series and i absolutely like it because killer kill is known for having multiple fight scenes of like they just talk trash to each other within a fight like i'm not even joking so that adds even more ice into the cake when it comes to the gameplay a plus is truly keeping this game accurate with its anime adaption i'm not even gonna lie Hearing the characters interact with each other within the demo was pretty fucking dope. It only leads me to wanting this game dubbed. Like, I know I don't want to be like those fanboys that be like, oh man, make the game dub. But Kill a Kill had an amazing dub. And yo, big shout out to Erica Mendez because I really, really love her Ryuko. Like, when somebody just say something slick to Ryuko, yo, Ryuko just snapping. I just love the energy that Erica Mendez put in that character. Furthermore, the game looks good so far in my opinion. Okay, people? My opinion. Remember. I said this, my opinion, it looks good, alright, <laughs> alright, uh, but what ticked me off during the showcase of this gameplay was the fact that people was being negative towards it, I see multiple messages in the chat talking about why this isn't a 2D fighter, and I'm just like, bro, are you guys fucking serious? Like, people really don't understand that our system works aren't the ones developing this game. A plus is our system works is simply publishing the game to help A plus out showcasing the game, promoting the game. Like, now, like, come on, y'all. Are y'all serious? In a way, it pisses me off because it kind of reminds me how people, you know, don't really give much recognition to First Bread, who gave us Undernight, Melty Blood, and the Geki. And I'm not slandering our system works because i do love their work and how they interact with their fans like yo shout out to our system works but i can't stand seeing another hard working company not getting recognized just because you know their their game is getting published by our system works or whoever publishing their game like i i really can't stand that like yo recognize where it, the game is actually getting developed from people so like i said i like how the game looks so far and i know without a doubt a plus is just getting started especially with the feedback they received for evo this year i'm sure they have enough time to improve a few things while adding you know new content and characters into the game personally i hope in the future like big hope big hope big hope keyword hope there's a public demo 
or an open beta for the game because I would love to see how it plays. I want to feel how the game plays. Like, y'all already know, man. I just want to dive into it. But for now, all I can do is speculate and hear opinions from the people that tried out the demo at EVO. Not going to lie, seeing the gameplay really made me think about Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm. But hopefully this game will be unique in its own way. And I'm not even going to front. The intros with Ryuko and Sasuke, I was like, yo, this is some Guilty Gear level right right here hold up dude but other than that man tell me how you guys feel about this video uh for those who actually went to evo and played the demo on uh, tell me in the comment section how you guys feel this has been your boy from oblivion and i am signing out peace Push me to the